Tunisia is heading towards its first early presidential election in its history, after the death of President Beji Kaidi Sipsi in July. 26 candidates are vying to succeed in the presidential election on September 15th, but unlike 2014, the country does not have just two main frontrunners. Big political names are racing for office in this election, and most of them are familiar to the Tunisian public. Among the candidates, there are six former ministers. The former Education Minister, the former Minister of Administrative Reform, the former Minister of Tourism, the former Minister of Health, the former Minister of Public Service, and the former Minister of Finance. But that's not all. The current Minister of Defense, Abdel Krim Zbidi, is running as an independent with the support of the ruling party, Nida Tunis. Two former Prime Ministers are also running. Current Prime Minister Yusuf Shahid is also among the favorites to win. Former President Mosuf Marzouki, who took office after the revolution, has also joined the race. And for the first time in its history, Tunisia's Nahda party has nominated for the presidency its vice president, Abdel Fattah Mourou, who is also the vice speaker of the parliament. Even though the president's role in Tunisia is limited to foreign and defense policies, the race for office has been very tense in this election, because the winner will give his party a big boost in the approaching legislative elections. Although many presidential candidates are considered a continuation of the current regime, some controversial candidates have portrayed themselves as the candidates of change, and they have stolen the spotlight. Among them are Nabil Karwi, a media tycoon with his own TV channel. He's in prison, but is still running for office. Karwi was arrested on charges of tax evasion and money laundering, filed by Tunisia's anti-corruption watchdog, iWatch. He was left embarrassed in 2017 after several voice recording leaks in which he ordered journalists to start a defamation campaign against members of the group. Karwi was arrested shortly after announcing his candidacy, sparking a political storm in Tunisia. His supporters say his arrest was politically motivated, as he's one of the main challengers to Prime Minister Yusuf Shahid. Abir Moussi, president of the Free Historian Party has formally served as a Deputy Secretary General of the Democratic Constitutional Rally, known as RCD, which is the party of ousted President Zain al Abidin Ben Ali. Moussi is a strong supporter of the old regime practices and does not recognize the 2011 revolution. If elected, Moussi has called for the banning of a Nahda party. Slim Riahi is a businessman and a candidate on the run. Riahi has been abroad since November 2018, after a court found him guilty of corruption, Riahi's lawyer has submitted his candidacy on his behalf. Tunisia's electoral law states that candidates cannot be dismissed from the presidential race unless there is a final court ruling against them. So if Riahi or Nabil Karwi win, there is likely to be a legal dilemma. A public opinion poll in 2019 suggested that 70% of Tunisians distrust political parties. The mistrust has caused a decrease in voter turnout in the three post-revolution elections. In the 2011 elections, the voter turnout was more than 90%, but in 2014's elections, it fell to just 69% of registered voters. So will the candidates in this election be able to regain the voters' trust?